All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to use a dryer. Right here I have, look inside, that, ladies and gentlemen, would be a dryer. How to use this? Well, first of all, you need clothes that are clean. Right here I have clean clothes that are just finished from out of the washing machine. I'm gonna add them to the dryer and we're gonna get started with this. But the first thing that you wanna do is you want to go ahead and clean out the filter. So if you've ever used a dryer, you'll know that there's a filter, the lint trap that needs to be cleaned. I'm gonna take this and just go around all on the lint filter or lint trap, clean this, just simply just guide my ends along the trap to remove anything that's possible. All right, so some of times you may need to perhaps soak it in water to remove some of the lint that has been caked up like this but it's still fairly good, but I'll, I'll clean that a little bit later. All right, but make sure all of that is clean. Go ahead and look down inside of the trap, down there and see if you can pull out any of that. That needs to be cleaned out periodically in order for it to be running functionally. It looked pretty clean to me, but that needs to be clean or else you're running issues. So you're gonna go ahead and put the lint trap in. Second, I don't know if you've guessed this, but you want to go ahead and add the clothing. Now, it just came out of the washing machine, and clothing in the washing machine, sometimes it can be bundled up. So just take the clothing, make sure it's not encased in something else. So go ahead and take the clothing and put inside of here. Right here, I have sheets and I have towels. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take all of that, see if anything, hello, anybody? Yes, there's still a couple more items in here and I'm going to put that in there. All right, I'm about to shut the door, but this is an option. Sometimes people like to use fabric softener, okay? They'll use a fabric softener sheet, put it in there. Let's see if I have any fabric softener sheets. And I don't think I do. But I'll use this right here as a mock-up. Oh, I do have fabric softener sheets. I have a fabric softener sheet right here. So I'll take the fabric softener sheet, throw it in there. And now we're all good to go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this, make sure the dryer is shut. And then I'm going to turn the dryer on. All right, so with this, to turn it on, you just simply turn the knob. And I'm going to go through all of these selections right here as well so you know exactly what you're doing or kind of what you're doing. You need to read your owner's manual so you know exactly what you're doing. So I'm gonna go counterclockwise. So right here, turn it on. You have a lot of different options. You have a permanent press extra dry. So if you want your clothes to be permanently pressed, select that. You have the permanent press regular dry, permanent press damp. Now these options, all of these options are kind of unique for this wash machine, but something but your washing machine, there will be the same things. I'm sure you have a permanent press and a lot of these, but these extra dry, dry and all this, that's particular to this one. But follow along with me. So you have the permanent press, you have damp, dry, extra dry. This, for those of you who perhaps you don't want your dryer to dry too much, you want it to dry just enough or extra dry. Those are the options with permanent press. Next, you have heavy duty. So that's heavy duty, like say for instance, you have a bunch of heavy type of stuff like uh, blankets, comforters in there. Sometimes I'll do heavy duty for that, okay? You have delicates for those items that could be damaged easily. So delicates, you have that option. You have the timed program, 40 hot. So that's 40 degrees Celsius hot right here, I believe. Uh, yeah, 40 degrees Celsius hot time program and then with that you can actually select the time you want dry and so this one right here i can change the oh for some reason oh and the press start for that so that's a time program 40 hot that might mean 40 minutes i'm not exactly sure but yes it means 40 minutes so i can't adjust the time right there so that's time program 40 hot not 40 degrees celsius and then you have the time dry and so once i have it there I can adjust the time for how much I want dry. Do you see that? I can adjust that. And the next, if you have wool, they have an option for woolens. Right here, you have an option for woolens. 
you have airflow. So most dryers have this option where it's no heat, it is just to fluff the air. You have quick dry, which is, is a hot temperature, and the purpose of it is to get your clothes dry fastly, fast. Okay, but it's a higher temperature, so be aware of that. Jeans, you have an option for jeans. You have jeans, put them in there. Sanitary, so this is sanitary dry, so that heats up the temperature to a really, really hot temperature to dry uh, your clothes and then sanitizes them. Cotton damp, remember the damp we talked about? So if you just have cottons, you can have cotton damp. You have cotton dry, and you have cotton extra dry. Extra dry, just make sure that your clothes are extra dry, and they will probably be dry. Be no second guessing if they're dry when you have it on this option right here. All right, so it's important with all of these selections to read your label on your clothing, the tag on your label to see what uh, options apply for your particular clothing. So with that being said over there, we also have over here, it says time dry, it's not, can use that selection for extra cotton dry, but we have dry level. And it goes up for this one, it goes up to one, two, three, and then zero uh, right here. So it has different dry levels you can do. You have a delay feature, but on this washing or dryer, it has finish in, but this is simply delay. So right here, it'll delay it six hours, it'll finish in six hours, and it goes all the way up to, you can have it finished in 24 hours if you'd like to, and then press it again and it goes back to, you know, the regular time, whatever you have it set at. And you have a low heat option on this, uh, most dryers will have a low heat option. You can select that. It just takes a little bit longer for the clothes to dry. There is a wrinkle block option. Now this right here, the wrinkle block, say for instance, you're drying and you're not super attentive to the drying process while it's going on and you step away. If you press the wrinkle block, it will actually, after perhaps five minutes, it will tumble the dryer uh, in here to prevent whatever you have in there from getting wrinkled. Okay, so very important feature that you have right here is the wrinkled block and you can go ahead and turn that off. Another thing is the signal. So when the dryer is done, you can have a signal that goes off. Okay, it goes off, it buzzes and lets you know that the dry process is done. You can actually turn that off so it does not have a tone. So press that and it turns the signal off. But I wanna hear it, so I'm gonna turn it on there. And the only thing this particular uh, dryer is missing is the child lock button. They have a button on most dryers that prevents children from actually pressing the buttons and activating the dryer in any form. All right, so this one does not have it, but most dryers have a lock function where you press the lock function and then you can Disable any of the keys from being pressed until you turn off the lock function. All right, so that's only missing. So I'm gonna go ahead, put mine on cotton, extra dry, and I might turn on the wrinkle block for the giggles, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start. And that is how you use a dryer. Be sure to read the owner's manual on your specific dryer so you know exactly how to use your specific dryer. This video is only my opinion and it's a general guide on how to use a dryer. There's a lot of steps and a lot of warnings that you need to know about when using a dryer. So read your owner's manual and abide by that. I hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot for washing, watching, I mean drawing. Thanks a lot for drawing.